Got to go to Family Dollar. Well, Republican convention's over. Joe Biden has got COVID again. So he's all hunkered down at his house. Is it Delaware? Anyway, he's not at the White House. He's, he's sick. I've been thinking about This assassination attempt on Donald Trump. And what I'm going to say, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm saying it's my opinion. What I believe is the truth about this thing. What I believe happened that somewhere between Joe Biden and that director of the Secret Service I believe that somewhere along the way They had, <laughs> look over there. Can you see that sign? It says Trump Nation. I believe that they, Biden and the director had a discussion. They didn't plan this assassination thing, but they had a discussion about in the event that somebody decided to try to assassinate him, uh, Trump, that They would go ahead and let that assassin take his shot at Trump before they took that assassin out. And 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 the sniper that shot the assassin. He never got an order to shoot or take that assassin out. So he wasn't in on it. So once the man started shooting, the sniper instantly took him out. And if you look at all the facts and everything that happened, they had that man under surveillance for two or three hours. And the snipers on the roof behind Trump had him in their sights. And they was told to stand down, not to fire on him 
until he opened fire on Trump. So let him take the shot. And somebody was hoping when he took the shot, he would actually kill Trump. So that's what I believe happened. I don't know if that's what happened. That's what I believe, because everything is so fishy. They had that guy under surveillance and all that stuff all that time. Yet they allowed him to take a shot. He actually took seven shots. In the process, wounding somebody else, wounding Trump, and killing the other man, the name of Corey, 50 years old, a father of two daughters and his wife. And he died covering, shielding his daughter and his wife. So he took a bullet instead of letting his wife or daughter take a bullet. But if what I believe is true, I would like to see heads roll on that. I would like to see somebody held accountable for the death of that man. But that's what I believe. That's what I believe. So keep in mind, though, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that's what I believe happened. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. Why, why would they wait till the man took a shot? That just don't make no sense. Take. Let him shoot first, then take him out. That, that, that's, that's what I believe happened. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. I mean, they, they tried everything. They tried everything they could come up with to get rid of Trump. And when none of that worked, what was the next thing? Kill him. Assassinate him. That's what I believe happened. It makes me so sad to think that that could be possible. You know, this place is still filled for sale. Somebody was in that building saying they bought it. There ain't nobody bought it. What is that over there? Look at that. One, two, three, four, five beer cans. I'll just leave them. I'll get them coming back out. But that's what I believe happened. I'm going over here to family law for a minute. See how long I have to wait for somebody to let me in. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, that, folks, that's what I believe happened. 
I seen one of Trump's granddaughters get up on that stage at the convention and give a speech about her grandpa. It really put a, uh, it really put a, 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 a side of it that we don't know about Trump. I mean, I know he's got grandchildren. Uh, and something else, when Trump first announced that, that, he, that he was going to run for the president in 2016, he was laughed at by both sides. He was laughed at and made fun of by by the uh, uh, Republicans and also by the... Um... Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, he was made fun of by both sides, a lot of people laughed at him and everything. Um, but this time, the Republican Party is, I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> They were really uh, behind him this time. They were, be I mean, solid behind him. And I've never seen Trump with tears in his eyes before. But I see he was tearing up a couple of times on there. He seemed very humble about it. Ah, boy, I'm gonna have a hard time getting in there. I'll have to come in from the other side. Um, but he, uh, is that cheesecake? I believe it is. Wow, I like to have a glass of that. Animal. I didn't know they made them things. Got them rest key lime pie. Oh my goodness. Key lime pie. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I love key lime pie. Key lime pie, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Go first, stop recording. All right. Well, I got my business done in there. A little bit of something I ain't been able to get. I got me some gravy mix. I got me a six pack of Pepsi's. How you doing, sir? All right. How about yourself? I got me a Hershey candy bar. I hope it don't melt. It's hot out here. 
I'm going across here. What else did they get me? They got me something else. Can't think of what it was. But that gravy mix, my daughter's been getting me gravy mix from Walmart, and she's paying a dollar twenty-five for a package of that. And I just spent it in Family Dollar there for eighty cents a package. So I got me four of them. Is today Thursday or Friday? I can't think it's Thursday. But, you know, this election, this election, is I think this is one of the most important elections that I've ever been involved with. I hopefully I'll be involved with it. Hopefully. I got to go into laundromat here a minute and see what uh, we still don't have a washer. How y'all doing? Does that say four dollars mm -hmm. to do one load? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Our washer's on the blank. Oh, okay. And I got the washer for four dollars? Yes. Well, shoot. Is that the cheapest ones in here? Yep. Yeah. Dang. I can remember when that was just a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> That's been a while, ain't it? Yeah. Gee whiz. Our dryer works, so I don't have to dry them, but that dryer's not too bad, maybe. Y'all doing all right today? Yes, sir. How about yourself? Y'all you voting this year? Can I ask you who you voting for? No. Nope. None of my business, is it? <laughs> well... You about the second person told me it's none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a Trumper anyway. Okay. I can't can't go for Biden this time. Yeah. Well, we don't know if you're gonna be running or not. You know they don't. And right now they're saying he's got COVID. Oh. Okay. And that's about the second or third time he's had COVID. Okay. And he's 81 years old. Um, that's tough for somebody his age. I had COVID in 2020 and I was like 70 something then. 
And that put me in this damn thing here. I can't, I have been able to walk since then. Wow. But it is what it is. We all have a good day. You too, sir. Thank you so much for talking to me. Well, I got to talk to somebody anyway. But that's one of them saying it ain't none of my business. None of my business. to the house um uh, you know I keep having this dream about YouTube of course I'm not monetized right now I think I can get re-monetized but I keep having this dream that if I could just get up to where Paul is on Scrap and Pallet Man and uh, he's making about $8,000 a month. If I was making that kind of money I think I could go buy a house again, or, or maybe even take put a house, new house on that land of mine out in Sitcha where they vandalized and burnt that one of mine down. Um, yeah, uh, Paul, he's he's making about eight thousand dollars a month. Jesus, eight thousand dollars a month. That is. $2,000 a week is what that would average out there. Or at least I could save enough money to where I would have, when I die, I would have something to leave to my daughter and my grandbabies. That's really the only thing that really bothers me right now. It's the fact that I ain't got nothing to leave them. I had a house. I had that. Then we moved. Then we moved out to town temporary, but then our place got vandalized and burnt down. I wish I could talk to these people here and see if this place is for sale. Uh, this place right here, this whole piece of land here is for sale, $35,000. Now, but if we own that free and clear, I could buy a mobile home, a new mobile home, double wide, and uh, my daughter needs to get out here and mow that yard. And put a new house on it.
That would be the most sensible thing to do. Been sitting here watching the um, Trump give his speech. I guess this is the last night of the convention. I was thinking it was last night, but um, he was talking about what happened Saturday, and the man that lost his life up there, protecting his wife and daughter. He was a farmer, and they had his hat and his gear and everything sitting up there on the stage, had his name. I just got done watching the um, Trump rally in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And... I hate, I'm not making a prediction, but I wouldn't be surprised if Trump doesn't make it to the elections. There's going to be some more whack jobs out there that they decide they need to try and take him out. It's just so much against him. And when I started watching that rally a while ago, I was holding my breath. I think if something happens to him, it's going to be hell to pay. I just, I hope not. I hope not. Do any of my subscribers watch basketball? I watch some basketball on the NBA. I hardly ever watch the uh, WNBA. The women's, the women's basketball. But I'm gonna tell you what, this this one lady, Caitlin Clark, every week she's breaking records. <laughs> and for some cockamamie thing about she ain't paid her dues is why they didn't put him on put her on the Olympic team. She's one of the best players in the WNBA. Uh, but one of the people they got on the Olympic team has got an injury. So if she has to be pulled out, then if they don't put Caitlin in on that, they ain't too smart. But I hardly ever watch the WNBA, but this, this girl, she is so on the ball that it's caught my attention and I like to watch it. But anyhow, that, oh boy, I'm, I'm still sick. 
I've got the runs and I blame it on eating so much yogurt. Uh, my, if, 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 <laughs> okay. if you don't know what the runs, yeah, you know what the runs are. I mean, every time I eat something, my belly starts hurting. Then I got to run to the bathroom. But I don't feel good. I'm going to go out for another ride in a little bit, but it's raining. And it's too late to go now. It's cleared up, but I think it's around 8 o'clock. Well, let's see what it is. Uh, I think it's around 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's 8.20 in the p.m. <sighs> but man, I didn't realize, Jennifer and Donovan took a two-week vacation. It's paid. But they've been working some of the days on their vacation, and if that's the case, they get paid double if they work, go to work or shift, they're getting paid double. So I know they work two or three days on it. But we gotta figure out something about our refrigerator. I, I know what's wrong with the refrigerator. There's a fan inside that refrigerator. I'm not talking about the fan on the on the outside on the motor underneath. I'm talking about the fan that circulates the air between your freezer and your refrigerator. That fan has took a dump. It's very simple to replace and you can get the fan motor for about twenty dollars. But and I know what I'm talking about. But whether I talk Jennifer into getting that thing fixed or us fixing it ourselves, mm. you go you go in town and buy, buy a new fan loader. Or at very least, call the landlady and tell her to replace the dang refrigerator when she ain't done it. The freezer part stays cold like the refrigerator. And the freezer part is where that fan motor's at. In the back, you got to take some stuff out to get to it. But she would have to do most of the work, but I can tell her what to do. Plus, you can go on YouTube and put in your model number refrigerator freezer we got, and there'll be a video on that exact model. It's really, it's it's very simple to do. I got on my other, other hat. <laughs> uh, these are warm hats, man. I like them. I don't have to pull the cover over my eyes anymore. I just pull this down over my eyes when I go to bed because I keep my head under the cover because I have to keep it a light going in the bedroom because I get dizzy if I get up in the dark. So, anyhow, that's where I'm at, I guess. Uh, still ain't got my hearing aid back. I go to the doctor on... Thursday, I think. I think. Let me look right quick and see what it says. My, I'm going to type this in. Uh, 
My health fit log in. Let me see what it says. There it is. And I'll sign in. And I changed my health fit. Jumped over. And B Wait a minute. Show. How did I mess that up? Let's see. I think my point is either Wednesday or Thursday. Where's that at? Where's it at? Personal information in my account. Where's Where does it say my appointments? There it is. View my appointments. My appointment is... What? It's been freaking canceled. Son of a gun. I don't think <laughs> 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 
Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da